so to reverse and prevent skin damage. There are physical treatments, chemical treatments and behavioral treatments, among which the main one is that you sleep well, because in the first hour, the first one over one of sleep, growth hormone is produced that will cause it to reproduce in your fibroblasts. Then sleep well and of course, eat well with all the antioxidant vitamins that can prevent DNA damage from fibroblasts. Also, of course, everything that produces collagen, everything that makes it easier for fibroblasts to produce collagen and elastin, among which are the famous ones in bone soups. So all that very well. In addition, there are chemical and physical treatments, not chemicals. And the most famous is the Botox. That does the Botox. The Botox, a toxin of a toxin affecting acetylcholine. So, what are you do? They inject here, for example, that there is no other that would peek into the mouth here as well. No? Theoretically, these are just the only thing that can be done. But little girl, she also has a mouthful of smack over there. There they. Because that makes the muscles not move. The action of acetylcholine choline is the neurotransmitter that makes muscles move. So the muscles are what are attached to the skin. And then when the muscle moves, the skin moves. And if you can, your annoying number has aged. Well, then you will get wrinkles from the depression of that time. What it does with that is no muscles were found on you. And I recommend, I do not recommend it. I recommend more the other alternative is not to say that you sleep well, that you eat well, that you drink the collagen soup seems better to me. Well, whatever you want, you can try to try and then there are also names of metaphysicians, there are no people who destroy themselves directly. The wrinkles. I have quite a few, not how these little wrinkles that I have get wrinkled, because when I laugh to enjoy little nails, right. So it's good. I come with a laser and I take off this skin, right? Oh give me a peel. Chemical peeling no. There are some creams too. It's interesting, isn't it? There is a cream that they have that is their help, of course. No, and also some that have retinol that helps in the production of collagen. So there it is. No, I have my scholar. I think we all have it. And then I occasionally take my bone soup and protect myself from the sun. I can't help what Don Saul has received from the product of my work as an ecologist. And then that's it. That damage is done. Meanwhile, when I need a method in which I renew my stem cells, it is not me. I think it stays on my skin and causes more fibroblasts which in turn causes more collagen. Well I think more teaspoons. I hope next time.